Boaz was a poor woodsman who worked hard to provide a living for himself and his wife. One day, as he was about to cut down a fine oak tree, a small voice cried, Please, don't cut down my tree! The woodsman, in great surprise, stopped and looked about him. He saw no one, so once more he lifted his axe. <clears throat> Just as he started to swing, however, he heard the voice again. Please, Mr. Woodsman, don't harm my tree. Again, the woodsman stopped, and this time he looked very hard for the owner of the voice. But still, he could find no one, and once more he raised his axe. Then there appeared before him a little man dressed in green. Don't, I beg of you, cut down my tree. It is my home, and if it is destroyed, I shall have nowhere to live. Now the woodsman, who was a kindly man, agreed, and the little man in green was so grateful that he told the woodsman that he would grant him the first three wishes he and his wife might make, whatever they were. The poor man, overjoyed at his good fortune, thanked his little friend and rushed home to tell his wife. <clears throat> oh, just think. Now we can have the, the cottage, the, the cow, and the chickens for which we've always wished. Stupid. If we can have whatever we like, why not wish for something far finer? I could be a queen, you a prince, and we could live in a golden castle with crystal windows. But the man had his heart set on a pretty cottage. If he had to have a fine castle, he saw no reason why it must be of gold. And so he and his wife argued all day and far into the night about what they should wish for. The fire in the stove went out, and neither of them thought of eating. Late at night, though, the woodsman suddenly realized he had not eaten all day. My, but I am hungry. I wish I had a bit of sausage. And there in front of him appeared the most delicious looking sausage you can imagine. Idiot, you have used up your first wish. You and your stupid sausage. Now the woodsman began to lose patience. I wish that sausage were at the end of your nose. What? And there was the sausage, long and shining, hanging from the end of his poor wife's nose. The poor woman burst into tears of rage. Now your second wish is gone. No. Uh, but we can still have your castle? Don't you dare wish for a castle. What kind of fine lady would I make with this sausage on my nose? You get it off. So the woodsman said solemnly, no, I wish the sausage were off the end of my wife's nose. Instantly, the sausage disappeared into thin air, and the woodsman and his wife sat there in silence. They had had their three wishes. <laughs>